Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talks video. On today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to create a question uh, before you join the group answer. Actually, it's a question and answer you create that people who will have to answer before they join your particular group if you want to enable this in this group. Uh, before I make this video, let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean by that. Let me search for any group randomly. I'm going to search for Call of Duty. mobile so i don't know exactly the exact group that have this information it's not every group groups that has it there are very few groups that enable this for their group that is if you want some privacy you should enable this on your group and it's very interesting anyway so um i think uh i already belong to these groups that's the reason why they are not showing join option so i'm going to look for the one that i have not joined yet I think I'm not in this group yet. Oh, yo, I'm already in those groups. Nah, I'm already in that group. I have to navigate back because I just want to join the group. I want to show you guys those options that displays those questions that displays before you join a group that actually enable this option so i'm going to click on this particular group that has 99k followers actually a group with a lot of members are actually the ones that have all of this information listed on their group it's not every group that have them now it says um this group may share content that violates our community stand line well that's fine but it didn't display the information that I want to show you guys. Let me skip to a different area also. If I'm able to see a group that is up to 300K. Okay, this one. Let me see. Ah, oh, serious. Um, okay. This is still not what I want to show you guys. Let me scroll even further. Ah, oh, serious. I am still yet to see a group that will have that information. You know what? Let me remove the mobile and then just have just Call of Duty. Okay, there you go. This is the question I was talking about. I don't know the reason why you just bring them. Okay, it says um, your member is pending, right? That's fine. And then it says read the group rules before you join. Now you have to read the group rule and then you accept all of this information before you'll be able to join um that is actually not a question and answer okay um this is the agreement and this is a question i have read the group rules and then blah blah blah. you just click on accept accept so if you have read it you just tap on all of them and then you'll be able to join but without answering all this question you will not be able to join the group so if i want to join the group i need to accept this accept this and accept that before I'll be able to join the group. You notice this is the group rules right there. I already made a video previously on how to create a group rules. You can check my previous video or you check the description below. I'm going to leave a description for it. But if you can't find it anywhere, just check my playlist. I made a playlist for the Facebook group. So you'll be able to watch um, everything I'm showing right now in the Facebook playlist. So if you um, after you selected this information, that's when this submit will be enabled. So you need to submit this before you'll be able to join that particular group. It actually took time to load. Probably my internet was a bit slow. That's why it didn't display. But they didn't add so many information or so many questions, but I'm going to show you guys how to add a lot of questions that you can ask people before they join your group. But it's very similar to what I just showed you right now, but I'm going to make my own even more, more detailed than that. So let's dive into the, today's video. Now I'm going to click on the group icon on the top area, and then I'm going to try to locate a group that I manage. And then guys, a quick info, I already made a video about this previously for the mobile version. So if you're a mobile user and you want to know how to do this, I have a video of it on my on the mobile version. You can check the playlist for all of these videos I'm talking about. There is a Facebook group playlist. You can check that to know how to add all of those things. Now, just look at the left hand area right here. You will notice where it has, um, it has a question and answer. The, um, 
it should have facebook question all right there you go this is the membership question that is what i want to add and that is what i want to add and enable in the group so if you are ready to add that just click on the membership question so that it will enable the membership question now you can notice right there it says um ask people to agree to the group rules and then i'm going to set this up i already set up the group rules the group rules are set up right there i already showed you guys i already showed you guys on the previous video so please go watch the previous video so i already enabled that so they will have to also um accept the group rules before they will be able to join the group and also we we'll have to answer all of these questions before they will be able to join so let's get into creating the questions now to create your first question all you need to do is to click on add question right there now it's going to notice it's going to um pop out a first question for you and then you notice where it says ask a question right and then the first option the default option right there is checkbox now leave that selected so uh what a checkbox is is actually you have to select 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 you can select um as many as you want and then um before you'll be able to join the group now my first question is going to be the um first write the question before you put the options so i'm writing the question so the first question is what is your favorite browser and i have this checkbox selected so under the option area i have to add options to this particular question that i ask since i'm asking a question they have to select multiple things or just select two or uh, the one they prefer so the first one i'm going to say chrome and then add another one i'm going to say firefox and then it's actually Mozilla Firefox. Let me tap and edit this. Really? I just have to type and then cut and paste it. And then give it up. I think the Mozilla is supposed to be double L. And then right there, I'm going to say All right, so after writing the um, options, all you need to do is to go ahead and save your question. And you can notice they are all displaying right there. So to add another one, you notice where it has create on the top area, click on create and then create the next one. So my next question is going to be, all right. And then on this area, I want to change this from the checkbox so this one is going to be a radio button and what a radio button means is actually you have to choose a particular choice which have to be one right now i have to choose this option i'm going to this particular one we have to be either you choose this or you choose that that is what the multiple option is called actually i call it a check um, a radio button because when you're programming it's called a radio button but facebook called it a multi-choice um a multiple choice option so for this multiple choice option i'm going to write facebook i'm going to write another option twitter and then i'm going to write another option and then i'm going to write even more is it necessary i'm just going to remove it so i have only three options right there so they are to select among these three so um after this go ahead and click on save to save our options for us and you can notice we have two different questions right now so let's go ahead and add more one more and the question is so this particular question the person will have to write it manually like typing them manually on their own that is why i chose the last option which is called written question so on the written question area the person will have to type as long as they want so they can easily make a a, a reasonable sentence instead of um, writing just one all right guys so these are all the questions we want to include on our membership um, questions and if for some reason you decide to edit this particular um, stuff all you need to do is to click on edit right there and you can have to add more option remove any option and then cancel it or save it so once you're done just go ahead and save and all this saves up automatically so the next time somebody is trying to join your group or your facebook group 
they will all be asked this question and they will have to answer them. I don't have multiple accounts on this group. If not, I will have to join it and show you guys how it actually works. But believe me, guys, this works very well for me and I've tested it several times. But if you feel like it's not working well, go ahead and try to join this group and you're going to notice all of those information display for you. So if you're if you're having any issue with this stuff, please make sure you leave the comment below. Ask whatever question you have relating to this video and hopefully I'll be able to answer all of them. And if for some reason, guys, you get confused, leave it on the comment section and I will greatly answer them.